still don't know where we're going. Rosh has put it in maps, but I can't actually see. It just has like the, the next direction. I asked if it's somewhere I've heard of, and she said she thinks. So I don't think I'll guess it because it wasn't like a yeah, of course you've heard of it. My guess the other day was going berry picking, but you said no. And is that an accurate no, or is that a no? So I don't guess it. It's a truthful no. Okay, we're not going berry picking. I said earlier that I think it's somewhere outdoors because you said when I asked if we need to wear active wear, you kind of hesitated. And then you also said not to maybe not wear shoes that I don't want to get a bit dirty. Yeah. I'm wearing white shoes, so I didn't listen to that. I think <laughs> and I'm wearing wear... like very light blue jeans. So I think you can wear whatever you want. So a, a main reason for my uh, like clothing request was because I thought you'd want nicer photos, but when I've seen other people go, they're probably in active wear. So, <laughs> we're just gonna see how it goes. Are we like hiking? I'm in jeans. No, I don't, no. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Forty minutes away, and it feels like I've been driving for ages. I think you've been driving for about forty minutes. <laughs> you know, Rosh keeps telling me we're not hiking, but all I see are mountains. <laughs> we're not hiking. I think. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. We just drove past a bike track that had some bikes, lady walking her dog, people riding horses. <laughs> the huge. So no, where we are now? Where is it? Redwood Forest. Redwood <laughs> Forest. Yeah, our range is National Park. Oh god, my car is 100% going to get bogged. Stop freezing. I don't have any reception, but I'm pretty confident in saying that it's about negative three degrees. <laughs> Worth it! Let's play hide and seek. Rosh is desperate to play hide and seek here. We're in the Redwood Forest. Playing hide and seek. I got her, I got her to play. She's trying to find me. We've got 30 seconds to hide. Also just remembered there's no phone reception and I can't find her so we probably should have set up a meeting point after a certain amount of time. I really, really don't know where she is. See just through there that's kind of heading to the car park. It's like a clearing. So I'm kind of at the edge of the area and I really can't find her.
wind. I don't know, I do this a little bit. Oh, it's okay, I'm not trying to freak you out. Okay, bye. I think the key thing is to not lose sight of her, and I've lost sight of her. Okay, it's at this point where I'm like, how do we end? I guess after after a long enough time, we'll both meet back at the camp. I have literally no idea where she's gone. I'm really walking out here in the open now. Desperate times. I found her, I found her guys, I found her. Okay, there she is. There she is. Oh, God. God. <laughs> oh, okay, God, I think she might have spotted me. Crap, we have been made. We have been made. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I saw you stick it out, I wouldn't have found you. I was gonna try and scare you. Well, congratulations on finding me. After like 20 minutes. Yeah, so who's the real winner? Do you wanna have a go? I don't, I don't plan on just standing still waiting for you to find me. I didn't, I moved around. Well, it's cheating. No, it's not. Hide and seek, you stay in your place. No. No, that's a different version, different game where you move no, around. No, you're thinking of 40-40 home. You're thinking of 40 no, I'm not because I wasn't trying to get home. <laughs> Hide and seek, you pick a spot and you stay. You're not restricted to that spot. Let me know in the comments below. Alright, round two. Yes. I'm going to look for Stace. I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to count to 30. Oh, you so you're going to hide over there. Well, you just told me where you're hiding. Oh, yeah, I knew you were hiding here. I hid over there at the beginning. <laughs> okay, time to count to 30. She's a cheat, I tell you. <laughs> Makes up the rules as she goes. She thinks she's allowed to move spots. Well, I'm gonna lie about where I'm actually hiding and I'm gonna hide on this side. Nine, I'm the best. Ten, eleven. Let's see how she likes it. 30, let's go get it. Okay, she thinks she's so good at hide and seek. She's gonna go for something that's not obvious. She's gonna try and trick me. So, she'll think that I think she's hiding behind a big tree. She's gonna hide behind a small tree because she's the thing. Okay, behind this giant random nest. I kind of feel like she might have gone to my left because she kind of pointed to her right, but I don't know. She's gonna be really pissed off when she realizes I've lied about where I'm hiding, but you know what, I don't care. You are not allowed to move spots in hide and seek. That is not hide and seek. I hope she can't see me as she goes past. Okay, so I can see her. Hold on, you can't see her now, but she's gonna go past. I might have to move. Stace, you're hiding in that weird nest. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> I thought my trick would be that I said I'd be over there, but because you broke I the rules, I was going to break the I rules. I said to the camera she's going to try and trick me, but I just knew that you were going to hide behind a big tree. Okay, maybe we should just like appreciate our surroundings now. Yeah. Okay. On the way here I asked Rosh if there'd be a toilet where we were going because I kind of needed to go already and it was a long drive so I was like you know I'm probably going to need to go when we get there and Rosh said no, no like there's going to be no toilets we're going to have to stop on the way or stop on the way home. What are you talking about Rosh? Toilet? 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 Nature's toilet <laughs> like they used to do it back in the old days. No, thank you. <laughs>
please, I've done this. I've been on hikes and like the group's been like Stace here and I've been there. Stace <laughs> prefers nature's toilet to a modern toilet. That's not true. I do prefer nature's toilet to a squat toilet though because squat toilets tend to stink. When did this vlog become a vlog about toilets? Carmen, where in the world are we going? Do you get it? It's like, where, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> That's the joke. That's the joke. That's the joke. You just need a red hat. Parkour! Parkour! Snack break. Bickies. It's pretty cool in here. It's a double tree. Half of it's completely in shade, half of it's in the sun. But if you look, it splits. Two fully grown redwoods. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> so, what do you think, Stace? It's pretty cool. Yeah? I think, I mean, I should say it's not as big as I thought it was, but I'm sure it probably goes further and we just haven't. It's still pretty big though. It's still pretty cool. It's insane how tall they are when you just look up. So an hour and a half away or a bit more from Melbourne CBD. No, it's been really cool. Definitely worth checking out. Yeah. We're gonna call it, are we? Well, we've been here for like a, a while time. now, yeah. And probably two hours almost. So, <laughs> yeah, would recommend coming here. Let's go, we'll show you the way out. Follow me. It's not that way. That way. Really? Yeah. Follow me, not Rosh. Oh, uh, we don't know how to get out. No idea. Stace reckons it's, I think it's right up there. Stace thinks it's over there. Who's gonna be right? Probably Stace, she always is. Just to show you just how big these trees are, look how small Roche looks. So if you are thinking of taking a visit to Redwood Forest, I probably have a few recommendations. First thing would be come really early. Yes, although it's Pack. later now and it's a bit quiet. That too, yeah. So either arrive really early or maybe arrive at lunchtime, I'm not sure. Pack warm clothes. Because, yeah, it was meant to be 17 today, and it probably is, but within the forest it would be at least 5 degrees. Completely shaded, because the trees yeah. are so Yeah, completely shaded, at least 5 degrees less, lower, and yeah, have fun. Maybe bring a snack and go to the toilet before you get here, if you need to go to the toilet often, like Stace. Allow a good hour or two as well for photos. Have a great day. And then, yeah, maybe bring some oh, cash to get some food afterwards, because there's a coffee cart. Oh, what have we got? Hot chips, hot drinks. Do they hot have hot donuts? donuts? Hot donuts? <gasps> they have jam donuts. It's like empty now, so maybe I retract what I said earlier. If you're not going to come super early, come midday. So here's my little Nissan Micra that made the cross country road trip. Oh my god, look at my wheels! Look, we ended up getting a pretty good park because that's the forest right there, you can walk straight in. Can't complain. This is what it looks like from the outside. Guys, we're done. I'm in the car waiting for Rosh. She's gone to the little coffee cart to buy us some hot chips because one, it's freezing. My hands are so cold. Two, it's like, it's one o'clock. So it is about lunchtime, a bit past lunchtime, one might argue. And we've got an hour and a half drive home. So we have some snacks, but we don't really have like a meal. So hot chips might tie us over till we get home. But it was a really good surprise. Thank you, Rosh. I absolutely loved it. I know it might have seemed like I'm very tired from work, but I absolutely loved it. It's not something I would have picked to do myself, which I think is why it was so good. And I have been a bit lazy the past few weekends, wanting to just relax and stuff. So it was nice to get out, be with, be with nature. 
um, especially with everything going on it's nice to kind of be in like a open wasn't really an open space but just you know outside with the trees and after all the bushfires that happened in Australia earlier this year it's nice to kind of see some forests that are still you know intact and looking beautiful so I absolutely loved it thank you give us the chips give us the rings this is what I'm talking about we got some hot chips and chicken salt and tomato sauce also this was completely full when we got here this is car the car park absolutely empty now so maybe it is better to come later in the day yeah, you know, people crazy. always say to go places in the morning to beat the crowds, but I think everyone now does that. When we were finishing up, it was very quiet, whereas when we got here, it was crazy. Crazy busy. Now it's time to eat. Yeah, like, I feel like you can't really tell in the video, but there are just like potholes everywhere. It's so rocky, and we're in the micro, which you will have seen in the montage, or you're about to see in the montage. Micra. The chips! The chips! Watch the chips! Protein Must the rickety protect bridge. the chips. Which are too hot to eat yet. Scary bridge, ah! scary bridge, scary bridge, scary bridge, scary bridge! Scary bridge! We made it. Thanks for watching the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We're back on the freeway now after like just over an hour I'd say. Maybe an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, an hour and ten, hour and twenty. So we're almost home. We're actually going to stop by the shops on the way home. Um, but that is it for this video, so thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it, hope it gave you a good insight of the Redwood Forest. Bye!